monster, actually. And, you know, I'm first time on the river in the entire year. The Mississippi has been high all season long. And so just looking, just experimenting. But that is truly a giant river bass right there. That thing is four and a half, maybe pushing five pounds, man. So, tried topwaters a little earlier. That wasn't going. Finally went to the spinner bait. Gonna throw some uh, clacking wraps. Uh, as we go on, that fish came off of that little piece of wood right there, right on a big uh, inside river bend. Beautiful fish. This is some of my favorite fishing. It is exciting, and these fish are cranked. It's August, and they pull hard. All right, back you go. Again, just a Terminator spinnerbait. I've got a big grass, uh, uh, Berkeley Havoc grass pig on there for even more attraction. It's a big package, but then this water is very dark colored, so the spinner bait's attracting them. And the fact that this thing is, uh, in essence, a swim bait, so it's also swimming, adds a little bit uh, more intense vibration. Worked that time anyway. We'll see what happens as we keep on moving on down here. Of course, one thing when you're presenting baits in the river is you don't want to move those things up upstream. You want to make a cast and then quarter back to you in most situations. See the point coming out, make a long cast and bring it down right on the edge of the current. It's just slow roll on that spinnerbait. There we go. That's a pretty fish, man. Wow, I love it. They are just crazy wild. Whoop, come here, come here, come here, come here. And wanting that spinnerbait over everything else. Look at here. Man, they're pretty. Big fish. Well, not big, but certainly not bad. Wow. Now what seems to be working is big and bold a lot of times when the river is as high as it is and the water is still dark. Uh, I would say water clarity is probably about two feet, that's about it. So uh, 7 8 ounce spinner bait, 5 inch Berkeley Havoc grass pig right there, nice soft trailer. And what you always want to do is you want to experiment though with the trailers, but that seems to be working right now. There, oh, I got them? Yeah, I got them. Aren't they something? They're just... Wow, and it feels so good when that spinnerbait thumping just stops. There we go. There. Isn't that pretty? Those spinnerbaits are beautiful in themselves. Beautifully made. And not big, but not bad. They sure are aggressive. Pretty fish, beautiful. You know, one common question would have been color. And typically, I did the exact opposite today of what I would have done in this darker watercolor. I would have gone with gold blades or even a copper or maybe some kind of combination blade. But the white and silver is certainly working great right now. And that's just part of the experiment too. So always with the fishing, it's always depth control first, speed control, and then how you're working the bait second. And third, in my estimation, and that's why I think these swim baits are so important in a lot of situations, vibration is the thing that really seals the deal before color or before anything else having to do with what fishermen typically worry about. So they're seeing the flash and feeling the, the vibration from the spinner bait, but they're also feeling the vibration from this uh, what I would call a hybrid swim bait right here. So it's not only swimming the bottom of this thing, but the tail is thumping back and forth. And again, big bold package in this river situation. There. What do we got? Oh man, lots of fun. And the other thing that I've really been pleased with is that Fenwick has introduced this series of elite smallmouth rods this year and I've been fishing them for the entire season before they really get onto the market and they've just the rods have just fished beautifully there's five uh, different casting rods and five different spinning rods and um, you know they're high grade graphite beautiful light rods so uh, I think the, there's a medium light there's a couple mediums medium heavy in each of the lineups and coupled with one of the Abu reels the, the Rebos they're fishing beautifully. 
Uh, a great combination, and today with the spinner baits, just lots of fun catching smallmouths.